CITP is a protocol designed to communicate data mainly between lighting consoles and media servers. In our case, we use it to transmit thumbnails of cues from beyond to lighting consoles. In our case, here, it is an MA2. To start, let's open Beyond and then open the workspace we want to use, either the actual cues you're using if you're doing direct console control of Beyond, or the workspace from your exported content if you're controlling FB4s directly. Then we can go to Settings, CITP Settings, and it'll open up our Beyond CITP Settings window. First, we will enable CITP, then choose our Ethernet adapter we want to send CITP through. Be sure your IP settings are set up correct so both Beyond and the console can see each other on the network. Your multicast IP should match the one from your console. 224.0.0.180 should be the default option. Then make sure your ports are 4809 and 5000. You can name your server for reference and choose your thumbnail size in pixels. 64 by 64 is a good default. Then, we should pick which mode we are in. If we're using the default 16-channel profile in any way, pick Legacy Style. If you're using anything other than a 16-channel profile, then use Beyond slash FB4 Style. Below, you can see all CITP servers and consoles on the network. Let's go to our console. First, patch your fixtures, either Beyond or FB4 profiles if you're just using Beyond as a reference, and then keep them all within the same layer. Then, go to your setup, CITP settings and enable CITP. You can add present and it should find it. If not, you can manually add it here. Now, we select which layer we want to reference from the patch. Then for library, we select page, and then for image, we select queue. Then press update thumbnails. You can see the progress here. Once that is complete, you can close out, select your fixture, and you can see the queue images inside of the Gobo parameter. If you have a console other than the MA2, Please reference the manual for that specific console on how CITP works. It's important to note CITP on MA2 must be communicated on the MA net adapter and within those IP ranges. And if you are in a session that is deemed to be slow by the console, then CITP is not going to work. Be sure to check the manual of whatever console you're using to make sure your settings on CITP are correctly set up. Thank you for watching our Quick Hints video on CITP integration. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact us at our support line or open a ticket at support at pangolin.com. Thank you for watching.